I'm Jennifer Harper with the Sun Prairie Historical Library and Museum here with the Museum Minute. Today's topic, the Columbus Street Water Tower. Built over a hundred years ago, the Sun Prairie Water Tower, now known as the Columbus Street Water Tower, was the first public works project for Sun Prairie. The Village Council decided to build it after a disastrous fire in the early 1890s. Designed and built by Frank Stegerwald, construction of the water tower began in September 1899 and was completed by mid-December. The stones for the tower were reclaimed or recycled from the old Stevens Mill northeast of Sun Prairie, and the first tank was constructed from wood. But after about 12 years, it began to rot and eventually crash down into the street. It was replaced with a metal tank in 1912 that held 70,000 gallons of water. The tower itself is 92 feet high and 25 feet in diameter at its base. The wall is two feet thick at the base and tapers to one foot thick, 60 feet above the ground. Inside the tower door, there is nothing but a standpipe in the center of a circular room. This giant valve held the water in the tank and caused pressure in the water mains throughout the village. An overflow pipe is found on the north side of the tower to allow excess water to overflow into the street below and keep the pressure on the water mains fairly constant. The water tower remained in operations for 93 years and was decommissioned in 1992. Located at a triangle in the roadway at the intersections of Columbus, Cliff, and Church Streets, the tower was found to have been placed in a public right-of-way, thus no one could claim prior ownership to it. Facing demolition, the Sun Prairie Historical Museum distributed a petition to save the tower in June 1992. By April 1993, the Columbus Street Water Tower Board was created by city ordinance and was given the responsibility of restoration and maintenance of the tower. For decades, the Sun Prairie Historical Society has been selling engraved bricks to raise funds for the Tower Restoration Fund. To date, over 690 commemorative bricks have been placed in the James Reininger Plaza. After much fundraising, the water tower was restored by cleaning and pointing the stonework both inside and out, replacing the windows and doors, and painting the metal tower surfaces. On December 14, 1999, a centennial celebration took place and the water tower board was dissolved, leaving the care of the water tower in the hands of the historical museum. In 2000, the Columbus Street Water Tower was the first structure in Sun Prairie to be placed on the National and State Register of Historic Places. With the latest addition of our downtown historic district, Sun Prairie now boasts 32 buildings on that register. It is expected that the city will need to invest $40,000 to $50,000 every 15 to 20 years. So the Historical Museum is producing, for the first time ever, the Fun Prairie Historical Scavenger Race to raise funds. All proceeds from this event go towards the Water Tower Restoration Fund. Registration closes at 11.59 p.m. on Tuesday, July 27th. So check out our website at www.cityofsunprairie.com slash museum race. To learn more about local history, please visit the Sun Prairie Historical Library and Museum at 115 East Main Street. We're open Wednesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. This has been Jen Harper for Sun Prairie News with a Museum Minute.